Okay, Tim Payne is, is set to be captain um, for the next year or so for the Australian national side. Uh, he filled in on the fourth test in South Africa. He has been named captain for the one-day series against England this summer, which is a five five match series um, and it, it looks like he's going to be captain long you know I would think long term for the Australian test and one day sides I don't think Steve Smith will unseat him when he comes back from his ban I honestly believe once Steve Smith's ban is up in 10 months time or, or whenever uh, that Tim Payne will stay as captain there's a new coach in, in Justin Langer in um, uh, Tim Payne has been installed as his captain. He said, no, I want you to carry on as captain. So I can see that as a, a vote of confidence in Tim Payne's abilities to captain the side. Whether the side is any good or not is, a, is a, I think, a secondary concern right now. I think it's the the um, rebuilding of trust in Cricket Australia by the team and by the players that are selected. And I wouldn't be surprised if more comes out of this cricket ball tampering scandal, but for the moment, Tim Payne is captain. I can see him as a long-term captain as well. He's a very under-the-radar player. He's a very softly spoken, polite man. Uh, he uh, presented himself with a lot of dignity um, for the fourth test in South Africa. He, he came across as someone who clearly was not happy with Warner and Smith and their decision to ball tamper. He was clearly um, very much not in favour of their choice. Uh, but he carried himself with great dignity and, and um, professionalism during the press conferences and during that fourth test. The new coach has come in in Langer. Uh, I can I can see them working well together. Yeah, they're, they're, they're similar type players in the way that they played the game. Um, and I can see them working very, very well uh, going forward. And I can see Tim Payne being captain for Australia for quite some time. Uh, I can't see how... Steve Smith can unseat him as captain. I think it's going to be very hard for Steve Smith to even possibly get back into the Australian side considering the aftermath of the ball tampering. But that's for something for, for to look forward to next year. That's something to, over the next 10 months or so, we will have a better idea of what's going on. David Warner's a different case entirely. I don't think David Warner ever gets back into the Seth side. I don't think he plays professional cricket again, but we'll wait to see. There's more to come out, I'm sure of this. We've had many discussions on this channel about the ball tampering scandal and the various ramifications. More will come out. Um, it's a matter of what comes out and when. But I'll be very interested to see what, what happens long term, if this is the captaincy coaching tandem long term or if it's a short term temporary fix. But either way, um, I can see Tim Payne uh, settling into the role quite well. I think it will suit him. I think he's the right guy to lead Australia forward. I think he's a safe pair of hands. He's a calming influence. And we shall see how well he does. Uh, anyway, I'll leave that there. So thank you very much for watching. This is sort of an aftermath of the ball tampering. The ball tampering went very quiet for a month or so. And, and, and now this is the result of it. Is a new captain and a new coach. And there's a new structure in place for Cricket Australia. Cricket Australia needs to look at its management structure as well because Michael Clark, ex-captain, has said there was a change in the structure of Cricket Australia and how you reported up from captain to coach to chief executive. There was loads of layers put in, so Cricket Australia needs to look at um, their wider structures as well. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have any thoughts on the Australian captaincy selection, place your thoughts below. Please like and subscribe. They are your friends, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.